all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information as you the heart in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for uh, kindly go to our channel subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button now you're one and only nyoko push master i don't enter again uh, with plenty plenty information um the president of um russia vladimir putin has called on the uh, president of nigeria oga tinubu he said to him uh, that to restore peace in nigeria that it is paramount that Mazen nam de kano is released from the dss detention <laughs> uh, you can see that the matter is now getting out of hand uh, because and kudos to the prime minister of the biafra republic government in exile uh, the man who has been behind the scene and he has been pushing forward um, even though uh, many people do not like him uh, but i believe that that guy has been doing a lot uh, even though there has been a lot of propaganda going on in the southeast concerning his person you know uh, even when according to him that some politicians you know has gone behind in order to uh, you know uh, sideline him and do other things to make people believe that he is the one that is causing insecurity in the southeastern part of nigeria but he is still saying that him simon eba is different from every other person that whatever uh, that is happening uh, in southeast does not concern him that the only thing he is pushing for is to see how best the indigenous people of biafra uh, will come to life again and how best mazinam the kano ohamadike one of ndibo will be uh, released from the dss uh, detention as you can see uh, there is no place uh, that revolution revolution comes uh, that um you see people uh, taking it that way people tend to kick against uh, what is called freedom uh, because once your slave is free it means that the, your slave will not be able to do those things that he has been doing for you before uh, imagine when your slave is free and everything that you have been you know gaining from the slave uh, are nowhere to be found so i think i'm um, this is why so many countries of the world, uh, they fight, say, people will be, say, um, they and them, they together, especially those who have the higher uh, resources, like looking at the issue of Nigeria. Yes, we know that God has blessed uh, different parts of Nigeria with diverse gifts, diverse blessings, diverse mineral resources. Uh, like if you go to places like um, Calabar, River State, uh, you see things like limestone, uh, you go to the Zamfara, Kanu, and the rest of them, even though uh, the government does not want us to know this, uh, you see things like Californium, which uh, with some of the information we got is what is bringing the issue of BH and insecurity around that side that they are pl playing politics because uh, Californium is gotten from there, which, according to some people, costs a gram, costs how many million dollars? Say that $24 million dollars per gram then come to other northern areas you see gold uh, you see uh, iron old then come to the southeast you see oil you see you go to the benue side the middle belt you see food they have a lot of food there so now even though god in his infinite mercy Chukokikabiyama, has blessed parts of nigeria uh, with different kinds of gifts uh, but i believe that the southeast has a higher quantity of it and that is why it is going to be very hard uh, for nigerians to allow them to go imagine nigeria without oil well imagine nigeria uh, without the goody goodies that come from the south east imagine nigeria without the limestone imagine nigeria without coal imagine nigeria without all those things so i think that is why it is hard uh, for nigeria to allow the beer farms to go now let's go to Lagos. They say for Lagos, they say Nigerian army don't storm Lagos road or beat up last man who assaulted a soldier. <laughs> I get one video where we say the trend, but uh, I don't know why uh, these soldiers go come the beat last man. 
uh, because this thing a man to man. Last my beat soldier, and this soldier, now one person, uh, I think uh, for me, that thing is not justice. They should leave that last my man. I don't know if you're getting the point, because this thing was man to man stuff. Uh, had it been that there were many last mass that beat up a soldier, uh, it could have been different. Uh, but what they could have done is between a soldier and a last man, set up a fight for them. Anybody that wins, let them go. That's how to do this kind of thing. So I think I'll, I, I will fault the soldiers for beating this guy. It is, it is very unfair. If, if, if a civilian wants to fight with a soldier, the best thing, what they should do is set fight between two of them. Not gunfight, just normal man-to-man -man battle. Blow, blow. Karate, karate. Anybody will win. Make you win because two of them are man. Now, waiting, they're supposed to uh, make last man, and two of them are officers of the law. Make last man showing strength, uh, make uh, a soldier showing strength. They say in a, a video of in a, a video of operatives of Nigerian Army beating up an officer of the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority last man on Monday, August 14th. 2023 at the Ojota area of Lagos State has surfaced on social media. In the trending video, the soldiers were seen pouncing and beating up a yet-to-be-identified last man official who pleaded in tears to be freed. The last man official was beaten by the soldiers. The last man official was beaten by the military men a week after a last man official was captured assaulting a soldier inside a commercial vehicle popularly called Danfo in the Kuta area of the state. In retaliation to the assault method on one of their own, a group of uniformed men stormed Ojota beating to stupor the last man official on duty around the area. Onlookers could be seen scampering for safety whilst the military pounced on the last man pleading for help. Uh, I pleading for help. Meanwhile, the palace of... Now, I'm, I'm on Imo State now. They say uh, the palace of Eze, Kanu, Ikenolo, a traditional ruler at India Ichi, around this whole community in Idatonot, local government area of Imo State, was set ablaze by unknown government. Speaking about the incident, source told whistlers that government stormed the palace of the traditional ruler with explosives which they throw into the compound, which resulted in a fire outbreak that touched the building, properties, and cars in the compound. A community source said that properties worth millions were destroyed and blamed the police for not responding to the distress call from the community. If you have to call police, so make you know say police na somebody papa and somebody mama, because. Uh, you know, go carry somebody, Papa, say, make you go die for in country uh, where the country self. Uh, you get one of my uh, aunts that time, uh, where would they small, we go marry soldier. I know we go marry Mopo, Mopo police. And um, if I like, say the Mopo, then go for one oppression, and they kill them, uh, and them face to face with armed robbers. So uh, the woman was expecting, uh, since, uh, since, uh, since uh, the husband has died and he's a police official, uh, that the police people was going to give them maybe somewhere in the police barrack at least to help her train her children and the rest of them. Uh, but to my uh, auntie's greatest surprise, you know, stay small time, you know, now they carry them, come off for the barrack, who carry other people put uh, the pension self, you know, the, the gratuity, you know, the compensation, you know, the. Uh, that thing happened, imagine around 1990-something, imagine how old we day now. So now you go check how many day, years don't pass, and up to now, that thing they never PM. So if now for America, person they work for police, uh, hey, you go say, make you die for your country. Uh, say, even if you die, your country feel remember you. Uh, if they don't even remember you, they feel more due, or they feel fixed one day to they celebrate you. Now, so white man, they do. Uh, but um, black man, no, they see fellow black man. Oh. <laughs> black man, no, they see fellow black man. As though they be, uh, as though they be. Meanwhile, uh, if not the first time where we say they join me for this wonderful channel, make you go subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share, 
And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you go be the first one to collect. Thank you for listening. God bless.